The woman is surfing. A whale carcass appears in front of her. The whale was bloody and smelled rotten. The woman accidentally falls into the sea. A shark swims slowly under her feet. She was about to climb up. The shark pulls her right down. The shark bites her leg. The bottom of the sea was instantly turned into a sea of blood. She got up and kept struggling. She suddenly saw the whale carcass. In order to live she could only swim to that side. The shark was also chasing her at this moment. At the last moment she climbed to the top of the whale to escape. The woman's name is Nancy. She came to this beach to surf, but she didn't expect to meet a shark. At this time her leg was bitten with a huge wound. I can feel the pain. At that moment she saw the people she was surfing with preparing to retreat. She shouted for help. She hoped the man on the beach could hear her. To her surprise, the car actually stopped. She thought they had heard the call for help, but in fact they just came down to clear the car. Then they started the car again and left. That's when she noticed that the whale carcass underneath her was moving. A shark swam slowly past her. She realized she couldn't stay here any longer, but the buoy was too far away. Then she saw a reef not far away. The shark was now coming at her again. She jumped into the sea. The shark also overturned the whale carcass in an instant. Nancy swam faster toward the reef. She stepped on the coral again when she got to shore, but she finally climbed up. Nancy used all her strength to stand up. She looked around. She was the only one on the surface of the sea. There was no one on the beach either. The whole beach was terribly quiet. By now Nancy's wound was getting worse and worse. She removed the pendant and earrings to treat the wound. She relied on her skills as a doctor to save herself. Then she took off her jacket and wrapped the wound. Nancy just lay there on the rocks until nightfall. Only a seagull was with her. To keep the wound on her leg from dying completely, she ripped off a piece of her jacket and used it as a bandage. The rest of the fabric continued to be worn. Then she noticed a crab crawling on her leg. Nancy quickly swatted the crab to death. But she was so hungry, she actually put the crab raw in her mouth and chewed it. But the raw crab was too bad to eat. She spit it out again. Nancy suddenly saw her surfboard just a short distance away. She looked around and thought the shark was gone, so she tried to swim over to get her board. Then the shark appeared again in the distance. Nancy turned around and swam back. The shark was still waiting for her. Can she wait for help? These two men were out in the ocean surfing. Suddenly a shark jumped out and swallowed one man alive. The other man was so scared that he swam forward. He swam to the woman's side. The woman rushed to try to pull him up. As a result, the man was instantly dragged down by the shark. The sea was instantly dyed black and red. The woman who saw the scene completely understood. If she wanted to live, she could only rely on herself. Nancy saw a man lying on the beach in a trance. She shouted to the man to call for help. The man woke up from the beach. He saw Nancy waving at him. Nancy asked the man to go to her bag to get a cell phone and ask for help. The man seemed to understand what she was saying. He did find the backpack, but he just took Nancy's phone and all her money. He wasn't going to save her at all. The man picked up his bag and was about to leave. Then he saw the surfboard not far away. He wanted to take the board with him, so he set off into the deadly waters. Nancy kept warning him to stay out of the water. But the man's eyes only saw the surfboard. He picked up the board without any problem. He swam towards the shore on his board, but suddenly he disappeared into the sea as if he had vanished. Nancy covered her mouth. She saw something indescribably horrible, the man struggling to climb back to shore. The next second, there were only 25 minutes left until high tide. Nancy was still lying on the reef, the buoy was still far away from her, and the shark was hovering over her. That's when she noticed that the seagull next to her was injured. It had some dislocations. She pulled back the gull's wing and gave it a firm squeeze. The gull's wing was immediately mobile. That's when Nancy saw a camera floating nearby. But the shark was still hovering not far from her. But this time Nancy found a pattern. She calculated the time of the shark parade. So she timed her swim to get the camera. But it didn't go as smoothly as she thought it would. The camera was swept forward by the water. Nancy accidentally fell in. Her foot was cut once again. She climbed back onto the reef. The shark smelled the blood and came after her. But Nancy didn't give up. She jumped into the sea again. This time she finally got her camera. The next second. The shark came at her. But it was trapped in the coral. Nancy escaped with her life. She found out from the camera that the shark was actually injured. It was injured by humans. So the shark kept eating people to get back at them. Nancy used the camera to record a distress message. She threw the camera back into the sea and hoped that someone would pick it up. Then she put the seagull on the surfboard. 
She intends to embark on one last adventure. The woman dives into a school of jellyfish. She is stung by a venomous jellyfish, but she's more worried about the sharks behind her. The woman swims hard to the buoy. The shark is also chasing her. She managed to climb up the ladder, but the ladder's handle suddenly broke. The woman instantly fell on the back of the shark. She stabbed it with the handle and quickly climbed back up to the buoy. The shark got angry. It slammed into her and retreated temporarily. Nancy cowered tightly inside the buoy. At that moment she saw a ship moving in the distance. This could be her last chance. So she opened the box and got the flare gun inside. Nancy fired it into the sky. The flare went into the sea. She grabbed another bullet. This time the bullets flew into the air without making any sound. The ship was getting farther and farther away from her. Nancy began to get desperate. On the other side, the little boy came to the beach to play soccer. He picked up the camera Nancy threw out. He saw the contents of the camera and immediately ran back to get help. At that moment, the shark attacked again. Nancy shot the flare directly into the sea. This time, the bullet hit the shark right in the head. She climbed to the top of the buoy to get a better view of the shark's position. Suddenly the shark came at her. Nancy fired one shot. Flames burned directly on the surface of the sea. The shark jumped out from the fire. It dove back into the sea and swam towards Nancy. The shark kept biting at the base of the buoy. It ripped off a piece of the base. It snapped the chain that connected it. The whole buoy began to fall down. Nancy plunged to the bottom. She climbed up to the collapsed buoy again. The shark came barreling up from below. Luckily, there was something in the way. The shark couldn't bite her. But the last chain connecting the buoy was about to break. Nancy jumped into the sea. She tied the chain with the rope she was carrying. She dives to the bottom with the chains. But the shark was still after her. Nancy led the shark to an iron spike. The shark had no time to dodge and was pierced directly. Nancy relies on her wits to defeat the shark. The boy found a man to help him. Nancy's body was floated from the sea to the shore. The man hauled Nancy to shore. She gradually came to consciousness. The seagulls also returned to the shore without any problems. The thrilling journey finally came to an end. In the face of desperate circumstances, we should not think of giving up first. Please have a positive attitude to live. Miracles is waiting for you. You can subscribe and leave a comment. See you next time.